Welcome to Narrabah at Jamesville. Hope you're well, thanks for joining me. Well, I've got to do a couple of bits on the boat today, uh, but I've got to shoot back to London as well for a meeting uh, and to see the kids. And then I will, well, I don't know if I'm gonna be back here for Thursday yet. It all depends on work, really. So, um, John's under strict instructions to look after the boat if I'm not here, uh, but it's quite a straightforward move. I'm basically, I'm, I'm the first being lifted off the trolley I'll be dumped into the middle of a car park and then later on in the day I'll be put into where Ollie is now. So uh, that's the plan. Um, weather looks all right today so I might see if I can do a bit of painting on the outside of the boat. John wants me to help him take the Winnebago out because he's too scared to drive it on his own. Um, but as I said I've got to kind of cramble that in and then get down to London so let's get cracking. All right, John? Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Boys on tour, MOT for the winnie. MOT for the winnie. Happy days. No mouse, mice jumping up. No, no mice today so no, far? No, the mice jumped out of their London pool that last night. So. Who's more scared? <laughs> <laughs> well, whilst we're also waiting for this MOT, the postman's been so I'm going to open this. So I've got two fleeces with slow patrol on them. Got some t shirts. Give me a good time. Yeah, well, they should come in there. Some polo shirts. That's a nice one. Look at that. Yeah, all right, and just let us know when we can talk some dates out, all right? Perfect. Lovely. Thank you very much, Carol. Well. Have a good holiday. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Still all present and accounted for. Oh, they've all grown up. Well, this is as I leave her on uh, Wednesday afternoon. I might be back tonight, don't know yet. But everything's ready for crane day. All I need to do is take the milk off the roof. Well, today's crane day, and uh, as you can tell, I'm not at the boat. I had a meeting in Dagenham earlier um, where the dustbin was built 20 years ago. And um, by the time I had to come back to London this evening anyway to see the kids, so. Uh, it wasn't worth me going back basically in the middle of the day so I've stayed down here I've tried getting in touch with John um, but yeah he hasn't returned my call yet so I'm hoping everything's all right but he had quite a lot of moves today so I'm sure he's just busy with all of that stuff um, so uh, but I'm going out tonight after seeing the kids with a mate going out for a curry and then I'll probably go back to the boat tonight so uh, I'll get up there for about midnight or something silly like that but whilst I'm here I've got a few hours so I'm going to um, do these mushroom vents so i've got the brasso which i've done these i need to clean them up a bit more and then i got this rylard um brass lacquer that john from mumbai sent me so um yeah dries within kind of 15 minutes and hard dry within an hour the idea is to put three or four coats on so give it a go but really i think once you've done that you can't then go and improve the uh, the quality of the finish so 
you kind of got one chance to get the uh, to get them as good as I can, and then put the uh, and then put the the lacquer on them. So, and as much as polishing brass is a quite nice thing to do on a boat, so I could imagine like every few months that'd have been quite a nice thing to do up on the roof. Um, the reality is, this is how I got that one fairly good. I got these ones fairly good, but in no time at all, they really do worsen. Um, and knowing me as I know me. Um, as much as it seemed like a nice idea to go up and spend an afternoon with some Brasso, I know I'd never do it, so they would look crap. So I think I'll save myself a maintenance task, put this on and, uh, and let it have a kind of a permanent shine, that's the plan. one mushroom vent just one for the last half hour my arms are knackered and it's okay it's kind of come up to like that now but there's a few kind of marks here where I've gone over and over and over but I just can't buff them out and I'm wondering on one hand if I was to have put them on a buffing wheel whether I would get them out. Or on the other hand, do I just take the approach that that looks fairly clean and polished? And if I was to put some of this stuff on it, is it gonna look more polished? Or is that as good as it's gonna get? And if so, can I live with that? I mean, the truth is, yes, of course I can. Uh, it's fine, but it would look better if it was brighter. And the other thing is, when I was at school and we had to polish our cadet boots for parade, um, we had to polish the fronts until you could see the whites of your eyes. And there was a trick and you heated up a spoon and you melted the top of the boot and you put it, you basically spat and polished for hours and hours and hours. But I don't think I can see the whites of my eyes. That's the reality. I think until you can, you can't really call it a shine. So you can just kind of approach it from fresh. It does look shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna give this uh, brass lacquer a go. Because I've got to go, it takes an hour to go off. 15 minutes to kind of touch dry in an hour to go off fully so I'm going to do it on the uh, parcel shelf of the uh, Dagenham dustbin because I've got to go soon pick up the kids Signets out. Can you see yourselves? Some sweet corn. Oh, sorry, guys, I've got to put this lacquer on. Doesn't say how far to use it or anything like that. You can remove this stuff by using a cellulose thinner. 
or paint stripper. Ooh, she's in here. You've got to use three or four coats of that. Alright, we'll see how that looks in an hour's time. Safely stowed away in the car. So I'm just at, this is the River Thames, Twickenham Bridge, um, just outside Richmond. Um, John's just phoned me to say that uh, the boat move this morning went really well. Um, I'm now on the chocks where I should be, uh, but by the time I get back tonight, it's going to be pitch black, so I'm not going to be able to see anything really. Uh, but he said, yeah, it went fine. Uh, the boat's on the chocks. Uh, Richard's had a look at it. He's happy with uh, his position and everything. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting up there and seeing it, but um, more looking forward to having a pizza with the kids. And my phone's just pinged, and John has sent through a video of the boat move. So um, I haven't seen it yet because uh, still downloading. I'm sorry that this is in a uh, portrait angle and not um, landscape like it should be. I'll be having words with John in the morning when I see him. Um, but this is the boat being lifted from the trolley into the middle of the car park where it stayed there for a little bit and then it moved from there onto the steel frame that the kind of the, the stern rests on a steel frame and uh, the uh, the bows obviously on chocks um, so as I'm recording this it's about midnight I'm running late I'm still in London I'm driving up to Leicester now so uh, this will upload as I'm driving up the M1. Night night everyone, see you tomorrow, bye bye.